Hi everyone, it is Lindsay from Rent Space and thank you for joining me on this afternoon. Um, I'm just going to do a very short video today, basically a little bit of um, a catch up showing you what's growing and how everything's going. Uh, some things are going well and obviously some things not so good. So um, anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around and um, please excuse the cows in the background. Uh, there's a bunch of wieners that have just been put in the paddock next door, so they are slightly cranky. Anyway, um, stay tuned. I'm going to flip the camera and show you what's going on in the garden. Thank you. Okay, so this is um, one of my strawberry planters in the, the hanging pots. Um, it is actually one of my... I put, took out one of the bigger plants in here and swapped it over for one of the babies, just purely because I thought being in the hanging plant, it just gives it a little bit more... Um, I gave one of the other ones a bit more room by putting in a different pot. And here is another one and um, it's going pretty well. You can see there's some dead dye back here. So, you know, just pulling that off. But it's looking really well. Oops, there's some weeds in there. That's never a good thing is it. We'll get rid of them. Now, here is some of my uh, basil. Now, I've literally, this was a baby, like a small plant. Um, when I, like, I actually bought this as a, as a seedling last year, um, from the nursery and I've used, as you can see from the bottom, there's quite some old growth. I've used lots of it and did some cuttings and stuff anyway. So I moved that into here because I wanted to trial how well it would survive in a hanging pot. Um, and also with the, the coconut core basket purely so that bit of a trial really to see how it's going it's actually been in there for about three weeks and it needs a water now it's been a really warm day actually today um so i am waiting for about another 10 minutes and i'm going to water but i thought i'd show everything while it was still thing and so it is actually going quite well um this is one of my indoor outdoor plants it's actually an indoor plant but um i knew she needed a bit of um better sunlight she wasn't getting much inside so i brought her out for a week and as you can see, she's doing much better out here. I do it quite often with her. I just bring her, swap her in and out as she needs it. Um, so she's actually doing so well. I'll probably actually take her back inside today. Um, but I'll hang it back up for now. And I did rip off one of her leaves. Just here, you can see. Um, and I literally, I'll take you, I'll just take them and... I put them into my propagation garden so this is something I set up recently I've always had the pots for my propagation but I set this up with a pallet and just some soil and these are all cuttings that I've literally I have just planted up in the last few days I actually I thought I'd press record and I missed the whole making of this video but anyway she's quite pretty she's a nice little thing so all of these are cuttings all that and what I've done is I've just got them stuck them in the soil um, even these ones here these are where they've fallen off as I've been moving pots in and out or things like that um, so this one here I will just stick in the ground that is all I do and then we see how they go some of them take off this one's actually almost doubled in size since I potted it in about three days ago so clearly she likes it um, but these have been these were literal um, I actually cut them straight off the plant and stuck them in the ground so you can see they're starting to get some dead leaves but that is normal this is actually one that I'd got a couple of weeks ago and then it was starting to root and I've up planted it in here now so it's actually doing a lot better you can see it's a lot greener but again this all needs watering um, seeing I'm down here anyway I'll finish doing this showing you this this is one of my elderberry cuttings so it was a stick I planted it in the ground now I have an elderberry um, these are some more cuttings that I've got here and these are wisteria and as you can see they've actually started to grow and flower it's um, so they are all have taken off and I'm just leaving them until they've got decent root and then I can plant them somewhere else or into bigger pots now these are actually a couple of my um, pepper plants and you can see funnily enough growing now 
didn't grow it all through spring because it was too cold, too wet. But, you know, being an annual, I kept it going anyway. And funnily enough, now it wants to, um, now it wants to fruit. Um, this is my Rosella. This is actually a gift from one of the ladies at work. Her daughter gave her a couple and she brought one in for me. And when I got it, it was actually maybe, I don't know, maybe six inches, seven inches. And clearly it is going very well now. Um, this here is some of my ginger um, that I've got in there. These are lemongrass and I'm, they're just seedlings and I'm just trying to get them to grow a little bit. I got them out of the seedling tray and I've put them into this pot just to get them a bit bigger and then I'll, I'll plant them again. But I'm actually running out of pots so more pots is going to be on my agenda but obviously money is a drawback. Uh, this is a cutting of rosemary. I just took it off um, one of my plants that I already have. Here is another one and another one. And I, I just cut it and I stuck it in the ground. It's now growing roots. And um, I've got potted them into some bigger pots. Um, these also are ones um, that I just took from the front yard. I've actually never done this. Like, I've not tried this one before. Um, so... They're actual roots, but they still are dead. So they have started to grow roots. So I'm assuming they will come good, but we'll see. Some more of my jade. They're starting to get quite big. Oh, that one's dead. But, um, you know, starting to get quite big. So I'll be able to plant these into my garden soon. These are going in places to fill up holes in the garden. Um, it grows really, really well, quick and easy. And best thing is it doesn't cost me a fortune. Um, just some of my um, cactus slash more of that plant. This actually, funnily enough, just dropped a piece dropped in there, and I mustn't have noticed it. And I um, had had it sitting inside and didn't touch it for a bit. Anyway, come back about a week and a half, two weeks later, and that's what it, you know it was growing in it. And I was like, well, I'll leave it. I'll just let it go. Some more jade cuttings. Oh, this is one of my wheelbarrows. Again, I have some more of this. I put this in as a bit of a ground cover. You can see it goes great guns. I've got some chives here. A couple of sage plants. A nice big basil. Um, again, it's, it's actually starting to flower. But um, I have been cutting it back and it's just going nuts. So um, I'm going to cut it back again in a day or so and write down. And I will be actually getting some of this basil. I'm going to put it in the dehydrator. Um, and obviously then I have have it right through whenever I need it. It's always there. Um, the same as the sage. You know, these were just little babies. But you can see I've cut them back a few times and they just keep coming back. And then these are, this is actually something I've only just done. Is last time I cut the big basil next to you, I actually cut, that I just showed you I should say, I cut a couple of branches and I stuck them in and they're actually going really really well so that's how easy it is to propagate basil I just stuck it in I haven't done anything I haven't looked after it really but there you go um here's a few more of the lemon grasses that I did um that I had planted into that other pot and I just put them in to see how they'd go they actually looked really sad and I didn't think they'd make it but apparently they like the wheelbarrow um another one of my sage plants um, and funnily enough, this decided to grow a jacaranda, so obviously seed got in here. And I'm leaving it until it's a bit bigger and then I will up plant it into a bigger pot. Um, and then another one of my jades. When they br a branch bakes, I just shove it in the dirt and let it go. This is one of my, what did I have? One, two, three, four garlic beds. So this one actually is producing nothing. This one here, funnily enough though, as you can see, there's one coming up. Um, and here are two of my beautiful ginger plants. Um, so they're coming up. Um, some of my peas and beans. So some of them actually have come up and I'm actually getting ready to plant those. A few of them, I've they've just not made it. Um, birds come and attack them. If they fail like that, I will pick them up, put them in my compost bin and I'll let the cardboard and the dirt break down and then I will um, 
you know, it goes into the compost and it'll get nice and hydrated and then I'll just do some more. Um, but to be honest, I probably didn't water them as much as they should have been watered. And you know, seeds, if you don't water them, they won't grow. Um, here is some ro um, rosemary, I was going to say. God, I'm silly. These are my lavenders. Now, as you can see, some of them are dying. But again, I've just cut them off and transplant, put them straight into the soil. And I'm trying to propagate some more lavender plants. So that's those. Over here is my most recent garlic. This is actually elephant garlic. And I got this from one of our local... Um, from a local farm down the road who grows it and they've actually won um, the at the Nabiak show for the last three years so nothing has come up there um, I'm, just let me see so elephant garlic so the second of the fourth so I mean it's only been in there a little bit but anyway uh, this is a frangipani cutting that I got and I've just whacked in a pot um, so she's doing really well um, she's one of my pink ones and I've got a few pink and I've also got some whites uh, some yellow sorry um, an avocado plant and funnily enough look a little nasturtium is just living its best life growing up on its own there's some more of that other plant that I showed you um, so that's just that um, this one here actually was other plants and I've taken them out and rehome them into bigger pots so that's empty at the moment but I have got plans for that um, these are a couple of like um, plants that I got from a um, the side of the road and I've just grabbed them and shoved them in some pots and they're going okay and then down here is some um, oh you know what I don't ever remember what they are because I'm not I didn't label um, I know I planted a whole heap a few weeks ago, so I'm going to have to go and have a look at what they are and let you know. Um, here is some of my thyme. So, that's not so good. I love playing with that. And there is a the lavender that I just showed you where I'd taken the cuts from to get it going. It is looking a little bit sad at the moment, but I have just deheaded it. So, and then cut the heap off. So. Um, just a few more, some palms and some plants that my daughter bought me and some more jades. Again, I use everything, even cans. I just whack them in because it does. Now, this is actually a bit devastating for me. I did a video the other week and I've posted it and showed you about me up planting all my strawberries. Going from one Mr. Stacky pot to two and a bit. Now, um, funnily enough, most of them are actually looking quite good. But there are a few that seem to be struggling a little bit. Um, but as you can see, majority of them actually are looking good in this one. Um, these are the little baby ones that I managed to get. Um, whenever I get strawberries, if I've missed them or if bugs have eaten them, I actually get them and I just sort of squish them and put them on the soil. And then, as you can see, new little plants come out of them. Um, they slowly grow and so that's what these seeds I'm assuming are all from because they're all small new ones um, And there's another one of those um, But as you can see some of them are looking a little bit sad and limp I'm hoping I'll be able to get them back Some of them were looking really bad, but then they've actually Come back so we'll see how they all go Like this one was actually looking really bad you can see and now it's picked up um, And this was the one that I just did the top of and I was going to buy more and then I was like wait I'm going to try some snow peas in my Mr. Stacky so I'm not sure how they'll go so far they're doing okay I do need to get some uh, a trellis sort of system set up for them but they are actually starting to grow so that's always good again another one of my grow bags with some two plant um two sage plants in that one this is another one of my garlic beds where nothing at all has come up yet. Um, now these were planted on the 13th of the 3rd. However, in this bed here, we've got one, two, three, and four. And funnily enough, this one's actually only started to come up really today. So they've actually done great guns. I only noticed yesterday. Um, and my Christmas tree that I got for $5 from Coles 
um, in one of its little pots and I've planted it. It actually is growing heaps. It was only probably about that big when I first got it. So it's doubled in size. Um, my um, parsley, um, some my chamomile plants, they are looking a little bit sad. This one's pretty much dead. But then if you look, there's a little bit here of growth. So I've kept it. Another of my thymes, my mum's uh, memorial jasmine, and then these are a few more of my recent propagations. Um, I have some, um, I've got more elderberries here, and then I have some, um, I'm hoping will take, these are mulberries. So... I have, I'm doing mulberries in a pot, so I've got one, two, three, four in this pot, but I've also got some inside in propagation jars. Another one of my sages. Um, these are sweet potatoes. Um, I've got one up here and I've got uh, two, down on the, two down on the lawn, and I'm trying to see the difference between each of them growing and how they go. Um, funnily enough, there's not much of a difference between being on the in the pot on the veranda. I must admit it does get a lot of sun here. Um, but I thought I would, seeing I'm doing it in pots, I'm trying to, it's a bit of an experiment to show you guys that, you know, even in a bag on a veranda, you can still get some sweet potatoes. I don't know how many I'll get, but, you know, that's the joy of learning, isn't it? Um, we can all grow something, even if it's not a huge quantity. Um, and I also have cut some slips of these. And I have put them into my um, propagation jar, like bottles, and they're on my bench right now. And they have got roots so that I can keep making slips from my plant. So I'm just going to keep making my own slips. Um, and then another one of my um, frangipani cuttings. And here, I've actually, funnily enough, my lemon. Um, balm has crossed into here I don't know how it got in here but it's you know it's a mint so it does what it wants and some more of those plants I got from the side of the road um, some um, gardenias that I'm trying to propagate another jade and look some more baby strawberries and then I've got a couple of, um, of finger limes so there, there, and there. Another one of my Mr. Stacky. Now these have, I'm not joking, I've had these for so long. And I just keep cutting them, as you can see, by the dead, like I just cut them off. But I, this was actually a bunch of shallots that I got from, or spring onions, depending where you're from, that I got from the supermarket. I just cut the um, green off, got the ends, stuck them in the ground, and I'm not joking, I have used these... I've cut them out about, I reckon, nine, ten times each plant. Like, I just constantly cut them and use them as I need them. Um, some more chives, some more parsley, some more, lots of sage in here. I love sage. And I am trying to propagate it big enough to get it so I can put them in the garden. Uh, lemon balm, which obviously won't go. Um, some more of my chamomile, which is good but bad, you know. Um, I think she got a bit burnt and I turned her away and she seems to be picking up from that. Again, some more sage. Sage. And a couple of sages here, but unfortunately they're looking a little bit worse for wear. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, I have plenty of sage, I guess. So, my aim is to get them big enough that I can put them into the garden to grow a big shrub. Um, and have like a proper herb garden in the garden. But I'm doing... Like I said, I'm showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm not going to lie. There is some, you know, not so nice looking stuff. And it does need cutting out. But before I cut it, I wanted to show you so you could see that, yes, not everything is perfect. Um, one of my mints in a pot. Now, again, I, when I attack this, I attack it hard. Then I feed it a little bit of nutrients. Now, this has got soil, but only to about here. And then it's like rocks and broken terracotta pots so this here and I have another one there which is just small and again you know she's a bit sad looking at the moment but I promise I bring them back pretty easy it's mint it's so hard to kill mint 
Um, a couple more where jacarandas started growing. Now this one here actually I dug out of another pot because it was pretty big so I put it in here. Um, same as this one. But these ones here have just self-seeded and they're just having, they're trying to live their best life in here. So I'll leave them till they're a bit bigger and I will take them out soon because they will start to affect this one here because it's not a very big pot. But I just want to know that they've got enough of a root system that when I take them out that I will have a chance of getting them to survive. Um, some more jades. Um, my big Mexican sunflowers. Now this down here is going to look messy and yes it is a mess so be warned, I'm not lying. These are a whole bunch of jacarandas that I actually pulled from the garden. Um, there is some more of the plants that you saw around the corner and they're just been propagated and they've all got roots and there is a nice big weed in there which I will have to get to. And then here is another one of my little propagation stations, all jades and the bamboos. And look at this, I'm not going to lie, weed's growing up. I hate this weed. Look at it, I hate it, I hate it. So, and down there is looking really messy and I do have to get in there and, and um, weed that. But again, I'm not going to hide the fact that maybe I've been a bit slack as by this big weed right here. Um... These are my loofah plants that apparently it was too cold during summer because we just kept having cold days and rain. And now we're in autumn and it's absolutely taken off, to be honest. I don't think it's going to do much because it's not the right time of year. But you can see it's actually, it's got nuts and it's on the other side of this fence as well. And um, another one of my um, elderflower or elderberry um, cuttings that's turned into quite a tree so yeah okay so down here is a big pile of cardboard I picked up today from my husband's work so I have to dig out all of those weeds that I showed you over there you can see them over there as well behind there that's all going to come up and then I'm going to put cardboard down and I'm going to plant some of those peas that were in those uh, toilet roll tubes they're going to go in there um, and I actually have a whole heap of bamboo spikes but I also have um, like a metal grate that I'm going to put behind there for them to grow up and along there okay and so this cardboard once I've weeded that area here um, I'm going to use this big pile of cardboard minus any sticky tape that's still on as you can see there um, I did sort of start to pull, pull some of it off, off but I haven't finished it um, but that will go over there and then that will be done now this is, these are self-seeded. These I didn't plant, they've just grown themselves. Um, and I'm letting it go to see how it goes. I, To be honest, it's too late in the season, but I wanna see what happens. Cause like I said, we've had a really weird year this year. It's been so wet here that a lot of my spring and summer crops didn't go so well, um, but I'll just see how it goes. Um, over here is my two other um, sweet potato pots. So there's one and another. So again, they're all in grow bags. And they they actually all seem to be doing quite well. The one up there, like I said, the other one up there seems to be doing maybe slightly better than these ones. But um, And this soil, I actually threw a few beans in to see how they would go. Because this is the soil... Um, this actually has some soil in it that I wasn't sure about. Like I had actually thought, I thought, oh, it won't grow, but they're growing. As you can see, this one is as well. Um, they just took forever to grow because of the cold. Like it was warm and then it went cold again. Um, and here again is some of my, some seeds that I've put in in the trialing bags. That's them just to see how they'd go if soil would grow in there, um, if seeds would grow in the soil and to see because see this one here actually kind of died like it was growing okay and then it died and I put a few around the edge to see and they're only just coming up as you can see. Look at this little baby. So you can see they're coming up now. So I will keep you posted on what happens there. Um, again look at this. See this is one that I did plant but look at that. Look at the time of year. This is autumn, so we're in April now, and it's really, they're only just starting to fruit. 
I mean, it's weird. It's absolutely weird. And that branch is looking a little bit sad. So is that so I might just pluck them. But again, see, not perfect. This was another one that I let go because it didn't actually come up until, you know, a few weeks ago. It was about two weeks, maybe three weeks ago. And it's just, now it's taken off. But honestly, nothing had grown. And I was going to show everyone how, and I've now left it. I know it's not going to survive because it's not the right time of year for it. But um, I almost didn't have the heart to, to do something with it now because of how late it finally decided to go. And I've got some turmeric there, some more rosemary, more rosemary. Um, another one of my, like, two plants. See that? Look at that. Look, I've got flowers now in April. Like, what's the go? Anyway, some, there's another one of those pots that I'm trialling the soil for. More rosemary, more, look, flowers. So pretty. Um, this is my asparagus bath, which you have seen me do a video on. Um, so this is my second year. Like, I bought these as starts from Bunnings. Um, you know, asparagus takes, you know, three years. So I got it. I got them the starts just to try and give me a head start. So this is their second year. Look, weeds and all. Actually, while I'm here, I might pull a couple of these weeds. It's not so good, is it? Hey? Too many weeds, Lindsay. Too many weeds. And look. Check around Check around Check around There's check around seeds everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry, but these ones have to go. There's ones that I'll keep and ones that I won't, but... I have plenty of them around. I don't need all of them. Okay, some more turmeric, more turmeric, um, nice dead flower there, more sage, some of it's looking good, some of it's a bit sad, um, figs, look, some more beans that I'm seeing how they are looking, they are looking pretty shriveled and that, so I'm thinking maybe the soil isn't okay, but you know, that one's looking alright. More sage plants. Hang on, I'll just get around again. Like I said, this is messy. It's not nice. Um, it is real life though. I'm not hiding it. I'm not Instagram perfect, pretending it's all perfect. So you can see, you know, some dead leaves there. I'll pick them up later. Um, but yep, my rhubarb. This one's looking really sad. Doesn't seem to be liking this spot. Yet this one is going... Mostly great guns, like, look at it. Okay, um, some more, these are some of my fig cuttings that have propagated, some more over there. Sage, more sage, more sage, more sage, and a weed in my sage, lots of weeds. See, told ya, messy. Life gets busy and I do my best, but there's just times where everything, you know, everything comes to a head and you can't do it all. Um, so again, you know, if your garden isn't perfect, neither is mine. <laughs> but again, there's my rosemaries. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining me today. Um, I do appreciate it. Like I said, this is an honest garden. I'm going to show you the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, yes, there's weeds. Yes, there's some very bad spots that the weeds have taken over. And um, yes, I have some plants that don't look the best and seeds that haven't grown. But you know what? That's gardening. And it doesn't matter how new you are or how, you know, a greater gardener, there's always going to be fails. So um, like I said, you know, you, you try your best, but at the end of the day, Mother Nature will do what Mother Nature wants. So Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks. Bye.